there, this is Darla from stampingunderdoctorsorders.blogspot.ca and I'm making a video today on the gypsy screens available from Corinne over at cricketdivablog.blogspot.ca um, I'll also provide the direct link to her Zibit store to buy them in my post below this video on my blog and as well as there's a giveaway going on for them as well and I'll give you the details of that at the end of my post as well as a giveaway over on my good friend Lucy's blog over at love to create it all .com. again for the gypsy screens as well so let me just show you what these gypsy screens are all about and why why you would want them trust me you're gonna love them I know I do basically Corinne has taken the pictures on the backs of all the boxes of the cartridges, okay, and gotten them into the smallest file size she could without compromising the the view of the file, so it still looks really good. You can still view it, but it doesn't take up a lot of space, which means that you can put it right on your gypsy. Now. The giveaway that I'm doing will be for the gypsy screens. However, Corinne also has them available um, in format for your iPods, iPads, iPhones, um, or anything like any other mobile device you can think of, or just your laptop, for instance, in a PDF format. So go on over and check them out. Um, hopefully, you can win our giveaway, and if not, they're very reasonably priced. Go check it out, okay? So, here's the rundown. Basically, when you get the file, you're going to get this folder that is the Mac folder with all the images, okay? As well as, you're also going to get a whole pile of JPEG images, okay? Now, I've reorganized mine into categories. Imagine cartridges as well as regular cartridges. I don't own an Imagine, so I'm not going to put the Imagine cartridge images on my Gypsy because I don't need to look through them every time. I've also taken the regular cartridges and divided them up ones I own and ones I don't own. Because if I put the ones I don't own on my Gypsy, guaranteed I will want them. So I've just decided to not put them on there, not tease myself don't have to look at them every time at all the cartridges on my wish list so all I've done is put only the ones I own on there and this is what they look like okay these are just the backs of the boxes it's all they are okay but it's great because you can flick through them I can do this on my laptop to decide which one I want and then I can pull up pull out the handbook if I'm working at home with just my machine itself. So you don't have to own a gypsy to want these. These are fantastic for anybody. Okay? So you can do them, view them that way. Now, you're all wondering how on earth do you get those on your gypsy? Well, I'm going to show you. So all you have to do is open up Cricut Sync. And it will connect, hopefully. Checking for updates. Mine is up to date, so that's not a problem. Now, here would be any Gypsy projects you saved. Now, I've just deleted all of mine because I've saved them all on my computer. I had too many, and it was just getting absolutely crazy. And I need to find a better file name system before I load them back on. So, right now I don't have any. But if you had any saved on your Gypsy, they would show up here. And if you are saving your Cricut Craft Room files to a Gypsy format, you could add your projects here, okay? Um, for what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the Photos tab, and then you're going to Add Photos, and you're going to navigate to wherever you saved those pictures. Then just click on one, and then press Control A, and it will select all of them. And then click Open, and it will add them all to your Gypsy. Now, I already have them on there, so I'm not going to add them again. I'm going to close that out, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like on your Gypsy, okay? 
So on your gypsy, it's if you're not familiar, this is the design program, this is the photo application, this is the imagine application, and this is the settings. So if you go into photo application, there they all are, and you can view them one at a time by name. Okay, you can look through them all at once. If you have an idea of which one it's on, then you could just select it and then bring it up full screen so that you can see it and just double check that, that is the right one that you were thinking of. You can just use your up and down arrows if you have it up full screen until you see the one you want. And so, for instance, I'm just going to say I want this page lace here on my art philosophy cartridge. Now, this just happens to have the image on the back of the cartridge. I'm just picking one for an example. But lots of times, you're just not 100% sure which cartridge something was on. And even though it might be in one of the feature keys and not actually one of the back of the box images, the back of the box might jog your memory as to which cartridge it actually is. So, this is a great way to find it. Okay? So then once I've found which cartridge it is, I'm just going to go back out, exit program, I'm going to go into the design, the Cricut application. And wait for it to load. <laughs> then I'm just going to click new. I'm going to choose my mat size. Going to go to my keypad. Going to select my cartridge. Now it was already selected, but I'm just going to do it again for video's sake. I'm going to navigate to my image. Oops. And there it is. I'm going to bring it up on my screen. It's bigger so we can see it. I suppose I could have just zoomed in, but that's okay. And there it is. So it's just a great little reminder of what each cartridge has. Okay. So now let's talk about our giveaway. So the giveaway is a copy of these gypsy screens. Okay, if you want the PDF format for your iPod or something, um, this is not the giveaway for you. However, you may want to enter anyway and get the JPEGs as well because as I've shown you, they're fantastic. And I like them because they're all separate and you can just keep the ones that you own out in plain view. But the giveaway is, if you leave a comment on this blog post of mine, go to my blog and find the blog post about the gypsy screens, and leave a comment, as well as, I will have a direct link to Corinne's post that I want you to comment on, but basically, Lucy Kelleher and myself sent Corinne a, an art philosophy cartridge from close to my heart to review and give her honest opinion on good or bad I'm not even sure what it is yet because I haven't read her post it's not written yet so go on over and check it out and if you leave a comment on her blog it's cricketdivablog.blogspot.ca as well as this post on my blog then you'll get one entry from me for a gypsy screen giveaway and Lucy is doing the same giveaway so you only need to leave one comment on Corinne's blog and one comment on mine for my giveaway and you can use the same comment on Corinne's you don't need to leave two as well as a comment on Lucy's post and you'll be entered for Lucy's giveaway for the gypsy screens so they're really awesome I hope you love them as much as I do, and if you don't win, I hope that you go on over and purchase them from Corinne. They're very reasonably priced, and I hope you go check out her review and anything she has to post about the Art Philosophy cartridge. I know I am dying to read her post, so I hope you all do too. Have a good one.